Okay, so we're almost ready to green light the 35th Bond film. Brilliant, that's just brilliant. Yes, but I'm afraid there's just a few little details we need to iron out first. Okay, uh, what do you need to know? Well, for example, what are we calling it? Well, I was thinking 12 Angry Spies. I like it, but um, I think it lacks punch. We need something with kill or dead or gold in the title. Well, how about 12 angry dead gold spies? Nice. But I think we need to stick with a formula that works. Oh, you mean like uh, recycling old titles? Yes, precisely. Hmm. A view to live like the man with the golden license to never die tomorrow twice. Catchy. Very catchy. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm just going to have to check some details for you. Um, please hold. So we need some Bond girl. At least two. Yes, uh, one to betray him and one that he can end up in a boat with at the end. Exactly. And also one of them needs to have a name with uh, suggestive connotations. Yes. How about, um, Wilma Whoppers? No, no, it needs to be more subtle than that. How about Stacy Wrecked? Yes, I like it. Yes, uh, and the, the second one could be called Hannah Carr. You are on fire with these names. And they, these girls, they need some... Distinguishing features that enable them to appear separate from the other Bond girls. Big tits. Get me the biggest you can find. Coming soon to Digital TV, channel E7 plus 365. Catch up with all those programs you missed a whole year ago. Now you can never miss your favourite program again. If you've missed that last episode of Selly Oaks on channel 7, or channel 7 plus 1, or E7, or E7 plus 1, or the Omnibus Edition on Saturday or Sunday on either of those channels, then don't worry. With channel E7 plus 365, you only have to wait until next year and then you can watch it all again. Or if you just wanted to watch last year's episodes today, then you can. Channel E7 plus 365, coming soon. Don't forget to retune your television. Greetings. Live long and prosper. Most people think that I just like Star Trek. But I like other things too. Like, um, Star Trek The Next Generation, and Star Trek Voyager, and Deep Space Nine, and Enterprise, and Star Trek Porn is good too. <laughs> I like girls. Some of them are pretty. But, but they've got all these, like, feelings and things. Why can't they be more like Spock? Or ninjas. Ninjas are cool. Like, once we were watching Kill Bill and, oh, I got a replica Hattori Hanzo sword off eBay. I've got it on the shelf next to my limited edition replica of Nasil from Lord of the Rings. I had to move my lightsaber, but sacrifices must be made. <laughs> I went to a Star Wars convention last week. In my Kid Fisto costume, naturally. And guess what? I met the guy whose legs were motion captured to be the droid whose top got cut off in episode one. He even let me have a go in his wheelchair. <laughs> and, 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 and I queued, and, and I queued for three hours to meet Harrison Ford. Han Solo. <laughs> but he wasn't there. And I met my friend who I'd met on the internet five years ago. He's made his own dual-wheeling 
Doable bladed lightsaber. Oh, it's like Darth Maul has in episode one. <laughs> he came in his R2D2 costume as well. Oh, it was awesome. It's, and and I almost won an auction to get Leia's wig from episode six, but I had to leave early because I wanted to record Buffy, but I didn't trust Sky Plus to record it properly. Anyway, I can't stay in chat. I've got to go to Forbidden Planet, because Wolverine's fighting an alternate reality version of himself, whose claws are made of, like this, marshmallow. <laughs> It'll probably turn out to be in Cyclops' mind. He's been going psycho ever since his brother was made to eat himself by Apocalypse, <laughs> whose fancy storm. She's hot. <laughs> Yes, yes, but she won't notice, because she's too busy trying to predict the weather. <laughs> May the first be with you. Unless you've eaten baked beans. <laughs> okay, so, we need a really threatening villain. Okay, uh, shall we just do this the usual way? Yes, I think so. Right. Uh, Give me a small European country. Latvia. Give me a physical deformity. He has a detachable head that he can throw at his enemies. I like it, but that would be better for a henchman. Maybe with a name like Hedgehog. Yes, um... Alright, how about the main villain's deformity? He's got no teeth, except one right in the middle of his mouth. Yes, uh, and he sharpened it into a fang. Oh, yes, he needs a name like, um... Professor Incisor. Okay, brilliant. Uh, what's his plan? Um, his plan is to take over the world by harnessing the power inherent in ginger nut biscuits to create a laser capable of lobotomizing people from his base on the moon. I like it. I've been on the phone for about three hours. And look, you've got about ten minutes to pick up the white man. hate missing a good film when it's on TV? Are you too lazy to wait until it's repeated next year? Then buy E7-365. The future is here today. Watch next year's TV immediately. Do you want to see who wins next year's Big Brother or X Factor? Want to watch next year's Cup Final or see next year's lottery results and news? Then buy E7-365. Now. Only 66 99 subscription a month for the first three months. Right, in terms of gadgets, so hang on a minute. No, what's that? It's my mobile phone. It sends emails as well as texts. Right, in terms of gadgets, we need a robot companion that, um, can turn itself into a car. Isn't that a bit like that other film that came out recently? Exactly. We need to cash in on these things. It's what's popular. Oh, good point. Okay. Also, a remote control pair of rocket shoes that lets him fly up mountains. Yes, and a plastic surgery kit that enables him to disguise himself as anyone else. Yes, those really arty films where the same characters played by lots of different actors. They're really popular at the moment. Hey. Yeah, I'm just chilling.